that I have to leave because I always learn so much when I'm here. Um, Mary asked me to say a few words. My the feedback's better. Um, so I just thought I would, for a moment, pause and, and tell you from my point of view that we, we have been able to do an amazing amount of work in this community in an economic downturn around the issues of housing. We, we paused for a moment as we were doing the budget and kind of looked backwards at what's happened over the last probably four or five years. We now have an HPRP program, Rapid Rehousing, for people who are in, um, who are having some housing distress. It was first done with federal money, but then the county stepped in and, and put local money when that federal money away. Our housing grant program in fiscal year 13 will be at $8.2 million. That means between 1,300 and 1,500 home households will be getting some assistance to stay here in Arlington. We've opened the Mary Marshall Assisted Living Facility down on Courthouse Road. 50 some people um, who have mental and, and, uh, it, and uh, mental illness or intellectual disabilities now have a safe place to age comfortably and continue to be part of our community. We're moving forward um, to purchase a year-round homeless services shelter. We're really excited about that. That should be on our agenda, I hope, in June. We have now 250 units of supportive housing. Our aid of funding for uh, fiscal year 13 will be close to $9 million. We have put matching money on the table to arrive at a million dollars to support the work of the 100 Homes campaign. And we identified a million dollars to be spent on MIPAC, which is the Moderate Income Purchase Assistance Program, in this year and then next year. All told, it's nearly $33 million in, in county fund, funding, your local money, supporting our housing program. There's more federal money, too, that I, I don't have. But that $33 million represents about 5% of our budget, which is, there are lots of departments that are smaller than 5% of our budget. So thank you for the support that you gave us as we did this work, for the encouragement, um, and for all the things that you do. Um, it's, we've made great progress. However, um, there's a lot of challenges ahead. Um, and the Columbia Pike study, which is now beginning to be very active and, al and alive as it moves hopefully toward a conclusion in July, has focused us in again on some of the challenges we face as an inner jurisdiction with good transit and expensive land. Redevelopment brings lots and lots of housing challenges. We don't own the housing. Our tools are focused mostly in one part of the market. So we have to pause again and think, what can we do? How do we get to a place where we continue to live out our value of helping people of all incomes at all ages and stages of life call Arlington home. So um, the other thing we did in the budget was to commit ourselves to a housing stu study. Having made this much progress, it's time to look carefully at what we're doing, how these programs fit together, how they serve us, and how we might adjust them. We need a sophisticated understanding. And it's why the public education campaign that AHS is getting ready to launch is so very, very important. Lots of people come and go. Um, in our community every single year. I look around this room and I see people I've known probably at least half of the 30 some years I've lived here and some of you longer than that. But many people come to our community every year, stay for four or five, and then move on. And so helping them understand how we use private, nonprofit, and the public sector to achieve what is a really important goal, how we work neighbor to neighbor, community to community, is actually really important if we want Arlington to continue to be the great place that it has been. We call it the Arlington Way, right? We all probably have different definitions about what the Arlington Way is. But it relies on active citizen participation. It relies on people stepping into leadership to solve real problems. And it involves all this conversation that we have all the time about where we want to go and what we want to get. And as I said, I think the work that AHS does, this focus on education, this movement to educate others is going to be critical. I'm really delighted I'm going to sign in September an Affordable Housing Week resolution that says September 15th to 21st is a time for our, all Arlingtonians to 
focus in and pay attention to this critical topic. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more coming. AHS and some of the other great organizations that participate with AHS will keep us all in tune. But I know, and I've known this for a really long time about Arlington, when we put our hearts, our minds, and our money all together in one place, we can accomplish great things. So thank you for what you've been doing to bring those together to help make Arlington so great. Um, and again, I hope this is as informative an evening as it has been the last four years when we've been. Thanks very much.